Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. Today's episode is all about making mistakes. Now what I wanted to talk about is just one, that we're all human beings and that we all make mistakes, and two, what to do when we've made a mistake. Whether it's a mistake in the relationship or just a mistake in general. Now a lot of times what I hear about in my therapy practice is making a mistake in the context of relationships. And so it's, you know, one thing leads to another and we slip up and mess up and, and it could be anything. It's, I called my partner a name or, you know, I, um, I did something that was hurtful or harmful. And, and then we get caught in this place of beating ourselves up. Or another time I hear about mistakes is maybe in the dating world where, you know, you kind of knew you shouldn't go out with someone and you did anyways. And so you, you sit across from me and you talk and you start to beat yourself up over this mistake that you made. And you know, a lot of, and, and so it's like, we get caught up in the, the mistake and the thing that we did that wasn't okay. And you know, that's when I just tell people, hey, let's slow down and remind ourselves, one, is that we're human beings. And really, the, the way that we learn in life is through our mistakes and our failures. And a lot of times we try to run from them. You know, we don't want to mess up, we don't want to make a mistake. And in the end, if we are running from our mistakes, if we're, then it's like we're not willing to learn from them. And so, you know, it's, this video is not only about mistakes, but it's about how to stop and pause and change your perspective on when we hit those life obstacles or mistakes um, and what we can do. I know when I was a kid, I used to play basketball and um, my dad was a coach. This was when I was in like elementary and middle school. And, and then I went on to play in high school. And one of the things, one of my roadblocks when I was playing basketball is that I constantly worried about making a mistake you know, because I wanted to impress the coach or I wanted to help the team win. And and so I just, I got caught in this like ruminating thoughts of like, okay, today's the big game and I'm, I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to make a mistake. And then, you know, at one point my dad said to me, Monica, if you're constantly worried about making a mistake, you're going to make a lot of them and you're gonna stay stuck in the fear of messing up and, um, and then not learning from them. It's okay to make a mistake. It's not okay to continue to think that you're, like you're so good at what you're doing that you're never gonna make a mistake or that you're afraid of making one. You get better when you slip up. And so I always thought that that was that was a good life lesson for me. One, if I stay stuck in, make, in being afraid of making a mistake, I'm gonna make a lot of them and I'm not gonna learn from them, I'm just gonna be caught up in the fear of and then beating myself up over making them over and over and over again. And the second thing is to, you know, is that he reminded me, hey, as a human being, you're not perfect and you're gonna make them and so the best thing we can do with our mistakes is, is learn to pick ourselves up and do better the next time. And, and so that's, you know, that's always stayed with me. Are there times that I'm still worried about making mistakes? Yes. Are there times that I make a mistake? All the time. And in fact, that's one of the things that I tell my kids is like, none of us are perfect and we're going to mess up and we're going to make a mistake. And we even do that in relationships, guys. You know, it's, we we're caught up in the moment of being irritated and agitated and we say something that's, that's mean or hurtful or harmful. Or, you know, we get so caught up in worrying about what our partner's going to say or how our partner's thinking or what our partner's doing that we end up making decisions based out of assumptions um, instead of really being honest and direct. And, and then that can lead to, you know, some miscommunication and more conflict and distance in the relationship. And even in the dating world, like, hey, the, the way you're going to learn about what you really want or what's important to you or what what characteristics you're looking for is by at times kind of like, you know, making some mistakes. So, you know, and that doesn't mean compromise who you are. 
whether you're married or dating, don't compromise who you are to be in a relationship. You know, but know along the way, you're gonna hit those roadblocks or obstacles. So don't don't be afraid. Don't be so afraid of, you know, falling down that you never move. And I think that's really important. You know, the fear of making a mistake is all about fear. And, you know, our fear keeps us stuck. So, you know, let's talk about how to change our perspective. You know, uh, a friend of mine and a colleague, his name is Dr. Harold Chinitsky. He's a sports psychologist and he's a motivational speaker. I just recently interviewed him in my podcast. And one of the things that he said is, you know, three things, perspective, self-talk and our behavior. And so, you know, and, and this is what's our perspective about a situation? What's our self-talk about it? And then what's our behavior? And so it got me thinking about, you know, when we make a mistake, what do we think about it? What's our perspective on it? And is it positive or negative? And based off of is, if it's positive or negative is how we're gonna talk to ourselves about it and then what we're gonna do about it, how we're gonna behave. And so when we make a mistake, if we look at it as like, oh my gosh, this is the end of the world or maybe this is in my relationship or, or, you know, we start to kind of talk badly about ourselves, you know, or to ourselves about the mistake and then our behavior follows, you know, whether it's um, continuing to beat ourselves up or thinking we're not good enough or, you know, just kind of staying slumped down and, and frozen. But what if we looked at the mistake, as I'm saying, as, okay, this is something I can learn from. So my perspective on making mistakes is a more positive one because I know I can learn from it. And then how do I talk about it? I'm gonna ask myself questions. Okay, what, what happened? What do I need to learn from this? Uh, you know, what can I do differently next time? And in the end, that's gonna change my behavior. So in a relationship, if, you know, let's say you get in a fight or get into some conflict with your partner and you say something that is hurtful or harmful, you put your partner down or you call him a bad name or, or you say something that you know is a trigger for them. And, um, and so when you catch yourself, the first thing you have to do is stop and apologize, right? And and one of the things that even Dr. John Gottman says is there's always time for repair. And sometimes it's not necessarily in the heat of the moment you're gonna repair it, but maybe afterwards. And so it's when you realize, you know, let's say you just called your partner a bad name and, um, and you've taken a break, the first thing you do when you come back is repair. You know, I'm, I know I'm sorry for calling you this or I know I really slipped up or even a repair in the moment, according to Dr. Gottman is, you know, he's, he has these repair statements and one of them is, oh wow, I really blew that, can I start over? <laughs> you know, so in an apology, it's also about uh, accountability and how to hold yourself accountable for your mistake or for saying something that you know is out of line and then change your behavior, don't do it again. You know, or, you know, in that moment, instead of saying something that can be hurtful or harmful, uh, criticism, you know, use the antidote. And the antidote to criticism, according to Gottman, is a gentle startup. I feel about what, this is what I need, or this is, this is what I would appreciate. So again, I know we're talking about mistakes, but we're also talking about repair. So if I've made a mistake and I'm willing to learn from it, Next time something happens, the hope is, is that I don't show up the exact same way, but that I've learned from my past mistakes to help me with the future. We can do that with dating, and I know we haven't even touched on this video yet, but even in our careers, we're gonna mess up at times, and so in our careers, when we've made a mistake, it's what am I gonna learn from this? And in any relationship, romantic relationship, friendships, or even our career relationships. And so really, guys, the whole point I'm trying to make is don't be afraid to make mistakes. Be willing to learn from them and not just say, okay, yeah, I'll learn from that, but really reflect and um, deconstruct or dissect you know, the mistake, not to beat yourself up, but to say, okay, what can I learn from this mistake to help me in the future, to help me in the, even in the present moment? 
and how can I repair, you know, repair in a relationship? Repair is, you know, the apology or, you know, saying you're sorry, is changing your behavior, you know, those sort of things. So perspective, self-talk and behavior is what do I, a positive perspective about making mistake is acknowledging like, okay, one, I'm a human being, this is gonna happen, and so the best thing I can do is learn from this. You know, and so don't beat yourself up and stay stuck in shame, but instead say, you know, uh, what am I learning? How can I do this differently next time? I'm a human being, so forgive yourself, and, and then, you know, do it differently next time. And that doesn't always mean you're like, it's a one mistake and you're never going to make that exact same mistake again. There's going to be time because we're human beings. There might be times when we make the same or very similar mistake. And this is why I like forgiveness, self forgiveness and the realization that as human beings, we do slip up and make mistakes. Don't be afraid to make, make a mistake. And remember fear only wants to control us and, and keep us stuck. You know, and really, when we're when we're brave or when we're willing to take risk, we're gonna we're gonna hit those roadblocks or we're gonna make some mistakes along the way. And when we make mistakes and when we are willing to learn from them, it actually helps us get to where we really need to go. So keep that in mind too. You know, making a mistake in the relationship can sometimes help pivot us if we're willing to learn from it can sometimes help pivot us to really where we want the relationship to be, whatever that means to you. You know, um, in our careers, making a mistake in a career, you know, can sometimes help us shift things to really say, okay, what, what do I want this to look like now? And I get like sometimes mistakes can really completely shift things. And so you know, it doesn't mean there's not any grief or loss with some mistakes, because I know that there are. And in that grief and loss, remember, we are constantly learning and growing. So without the willingness to take the risk or to make the mistake, um, or to learn from the mistakes, we can't grow. Okay, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. When we make mistakes, Pick yourself back up and the most important question to ask yourself is what can I learn from this mistake to help me in the present moment and to help me in the future? Whether it's in my romantic relationships, my friendships, or even in my career. Alright guys, uh, thank you for listening to today's video all about the importance of making mistakes. Don't be afraid to make them. Also. Um, please like my or subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly updates all about relationships. Have a great day.